Right now, a Green Bay win more than a month in the making. What game they're now looking ahead to to turn things around? Also, we are watching President Biden this morning. The high stakes meetings overseas ahead of the G20 summit. We have an alert day in our forecast. The first accumulating snow of the season is on our doorstep. I'm going to time it out and when it reaches us. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. We got some snow on the way, folks. Yes, we do. We start with a live look at a system headed our way over the next 24 hours. You're taking a look at St. Paul right now. They're experiencing snow at this hour. You can tell the roads are snow covered here. If you look closely enough, the reason snow is sticking so quickly there because they've just started to see these flakes flying in the last hour is because their ground is frozen and that's something we could see here tomorrow to our ground also frozen our first accumulating snow of the season that means there's an alert day in store Chris Reese yeah absolutely no secret everybody at this point knows that I'm moving to Minneapolis and so I was there this weekend to get a house and I mean it was cold but it was colder here as we went throughout the weekend and so our ground froze too so by the time the snow gets to us this weekend or not this weekend but tomorrow we're gonna see a frozen ground to contend with that being said this is Doppler track right now. You see the main snow that's to our north and west staying to our north and west as of now. So as you head out the door this morning, no big concerns. I want to point out this system, though, down in southeastern Colorado. It will actually interact with the snow that you're seeing over Minnesota right now. And that's going to lead to a couple of days of light snowfall off and on that just sits around here. And uh, by Wednesday night, It'll finally begin to come to an end at that point. So headed out the door right now, no big concerns. You may see some flurries today, but we will generally be okay for today's commute. Tomorrow, that's the day that we run into issues, and that's why tomorrow is the alert day. One to three inches of snow, perhaps another inch on Wednesday. We're going to break this down, time it out, talk about when exactly the snow could start and where. Coming up. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Chris. For the first time in over 40 days, the Packers are waking up on a Monday with a victory, closing the door on that losing streak, the longest since Aaron Rodgers' first season as a starter. Former head coach Mike McCarthy and the Dallas Cowboys in Green Bay. Uh, it's his first return to Lambeau since 2018. Fourth quarter, Dallas up 28-14. Rodgers, he's going to find Christian Watson, who takes it in for the score. Uh, Watson had a, a, a breakout night, three touchdowns for him. Uh, Pack come back to tie it up and send this to overtime. Defense coming up huge for Green Bay here. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys failed to convert. Packers would uh, complete one down to the field to Lazard and set up a Mason Crosby field goal from 28 yards out for the win. Packers can now breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. It's been a long time to... Uh stand up here with and and have a smile so i just i'm super proud of our guys it's been too long to to have that feeling to go in the locker room and to see the just sheer joy um it's something that's something that is going to stick with me for a long time a short week for the packers they host the titans thursday night then a primetime matchup on the road with the eagles then to Chicago, Packers are four and a half games back of the red-hot Minnesota Vikings now. They'll meet on New Year's Day. Breaking news overnight on the loss of a former Badger who made history in Camp Randall back in the 90s. Former fans and players tweeting their condolences over the death of 50-year-old Brent Moss. Moss helped Wisconsin win a Big Ten title in 93 and the 94 Rose Bowl over UCLA. He was the team's leading rusher for both those big milestones. It is not clear this morning how he died. Again, Brent Moss dead at 50 years old. Overseas, President Biden is meeting with China's president as we speak this morning amid tensions with that country. It's part of the G20 summit taking place today in Indonesia. It's their first in-person meeting since Biden took office. President Biden says he wants to make sure competition with China doesn't dissolve into conflict. His relationship with President Xi Jinping has been tense in recent months. The president reaffirming U.S. policy that states Taiwan is part of China, but saying he would draw the line if China used force to take over the self-governing island. Just look what we've done in Ukraine. Uh, Xi Jinping looks at the uh, democracies of the world standing together, and he knows we'll do the same thing. 
The summit might also be tense because Russia is a member of G20. However, the Russian embassy says Vladimir Putin will not be attending the summit in person. Back here at home, the Federal Aviation Administration is investigating why two vintage warplanes collided mid-air in Dallas at an air show. The accident killed all six people on board. Take a look at this video. The Allied Pilots Association, the labor union representing American Airlines pilots, has identified two pilot retirees and former APA members among those killed. CBS aviation safety analyst Robert Sumwalt says the video captured by spectators will be vital to find out what happened. It appears that the, the P-63 is approaching the B-17 at a very steep bank angle, which would prohibit that pilot from being able to see the B-17. Remarkably, no one on the ground was hurt after debris fell from the air. An investigation continues this morning after four University of Idaho students were killed Sunday. In a statement, the university said the students are believed to be victims of homicide. Area police responded to a call for an unconscious individual. When they arrived, officers found four people dead. There is no active threat to campus this morning. Classes have been canceled for today. In McFarland, this week was about honoring, this weekend was about honoring Korean War veterans. The annual event had some new additions this year to help pay tribute to those who served. Our Catherine Merck spoke with some of the veterans who were honored and shares their brave stories. The American Legion Post 534 holds the colors red, white, and blue close to the heart. This is their happy place. This is Dale Sankey. They come here, they got camaraderie. The Legion has become a second home for him and other veterans after serving. People understand what you're talking about. If you're not a veteran and you haven't been in, it's really hard to relate. It means a lot to be respected, and that's what you get when you come to a place like this. In the backyard of the Legion lies 106 flags. The story behind this memorial goes back to a veteran who ended up coming home to Wisconsin. We had a Korean veteran that was a member here that he was a victim of the Korean War where he was in a concentration camp. Uh, when he got to where it was peaceful enough to get out of the truck, he saw a flag and he went and hugged the flag. And a sergeant came up and says, son, someday you'll have enough flags that you can fly your own. Keeping those colors close to the heart meant this place for veterans right here in McFarland. And when he came here, that was his dream. And then everybody in McFarland followed his dream. Today's event was a reminder to honor our country's symbols. But the bond that these veterans have created with their fellow countrymen is held just as near and dear. And to have these guys stand up and tell their story that they've never been able to do, it's very gratifying. It's a good feeling, it's a wholesome feeling. Reporting in McFarland, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now. A special unveiling in southwest Wisconsin is also honoring veterans decades and in some cases centuries after their service. It's happening in Highland, Wisconsin, where high school seniors have a history of thanking service members. Each senior is required to put together a final project to graduate. And then more often than you might see elsewhere, these students are opting to honor local vets. There are benches outside the high school built to commemorate vets and more recently, a beautiful new memorial wall downtown. There was only like an American flag and a, some small little like tombstone with like a cutout of a soldier. We just kept adding and adding and adding and at this point we're at 800 plus names. So this wall is at least three times as large as what we had anticipated. Very proud to bring you this story today, folks. That's Highland graduate Isabel Tucker and her mentor and Vietnam vet, Ron Riggles. They teamed up to help build the wall unveiled earlier this fall, but it's not the only or even the latest memorial to veterans in this small town. Coming up tonight on News 3 Now at 10, I'll take you to my hometown of Highland to share how this community of 800 is going above and beyond to give a little something to those who gave us their all. Again, that's happening tonight at 10. Looking forward to that. Yeah, it's going to be a great story. Very, very proud to call Highland home. 609 coming up. Another reason why your turkey day dinner will be more expensive this year. And why you might want to buy that bird a little early.
Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Reviews are very important. It really reflects on how we're handling customers at Precision Door. It's feeling like I'm helping out my neighbor. Quality service quickly from a name you can trust. Precision Door service, a name you can trust. Clean, safe, fun. I wanted it all when we needed daytime care for mom. Oh, Grace's new adult day center is so nice. Now she goes twice a week while I'm at work and loves it. A Grace, caring every step of the way. Papa Murphy's presents How to Change the Way You Pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Order the limited time hog heaven pizza for just $12.99 at papamurphys.com. I've got a secret. I did all of my holiday shopping in one place. Do you want to know where? At the Roost Company in Middleton. I found Bagolini purses for mom, Frasier fur candles, my sister's favorite, earrings for me, even Weber grill accessories for dad. In their holiday showroom, it's a wonderland. So this season, check out the Roost Company, my holiday happy place. to her New Year's resolutions. But this year, she's resolved to save money and worry less. And with the new Volkswagen SUV, she can save on maintenance over the next five years. So who knows where Kim's resolutions might take her year after year. At the Volkswagen Sign Then Drive event, you too can make maintenance costs worry so last year. Hurry in to lease a new 2023 Tiguan for zero down, zero deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero due at signing. Limited inventory available. When you prefer a dream vacation over a rental nightmare. The sun tight. It matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. The oldest Chinese restaurant in Wisconsin, located right here in the 608. And today they're celebrating a century of service. Josh Pryder is live in Janesville sharing their story with us today. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, a lot of history here at the Cozy Inn in downtown Janesville. They've been in this location for a century, as you mentioned, and it all comes down to today when the community can come out and help celebrate them and what they've been able to achieve all these years. Tom and Amanda are up early with us this morning. Guys, first off, congratulations on 100 years. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. I mean, that's pretty unheard of these days for any business, really. Yes, it's, we're, we're thrilled. That we're excited that we made it this far, so and hope, hopefully more. You know, talk about the space that we were in because I mean, this is the exact location back in 1922 that opened up, and right. here you are, still all these years later. Obviously, you were not here back in 1922, but the story really lives on. It, it lives on. It's, it's, there's a lot of history here, and there's so many memories here, and, and I think it brings back other family members that remember their history coming up here all these years through the generations. You know, this is a tradition for a lot of folks here in the Janesville and yes, Rock County is. area. Right. Like I said before, I've seen five different generations of one family come, still coming up here all these years from, from the early 70s. And some of them were coming up here since the 50s. So now it's sort of strange because I see these young child now, but now their grandparents already when they were kids, when they were coming up here as little toddlers and so forth. That has to be pretty humbling to know that you are making that much of an impact on these people. Yes, it's, 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 it's over gratifying to know these people are great with the great support they give us. 
So today you guys are celebrating 100 years. We're going to throw some information up on the screen right now. How can people come out and celebrate you guys today? Uh, we're having a, a meet and greet and we're having little appetizers and tea and coffee and drinks and so forth. So there's going to be our famous appetizers and it's all free and just come and meet, say hello. And it's sort of a way of thanking our community for supporting us through all these years and so forth. And normally you guys are closed on Monday, so this right. is really a special event for you. It is, it is. It's very special for us. You know, you are so, so thankful to have that support. I mean, people keep coming back. Yeah, they, they keep coming back all the time. They know my wife's name. They're, they're like family. Just like family members keep coming. Well, congratulations Thank to you, you both Thank again. You. Thank you for having us in here, guys. Thank this you. is so amazing. You can find this story up on channel3000.com as well. Again, 2 to 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can come celebrate the Cozy Inn. Boy, 100 years. That is so impressive. I, I had a, it. Just what an interesting backstory to, uh, for it all. Thanks for sharing that with us this morning, Josh. Josh Breiner making us all hungry this morning. We love it. Great. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. 616, let's check in with Chris Reese and your first horn forecast in that Good measurable snowfall on the way. Hey there, Chris. Yeah, the first one is on the way. So we've been talking about the alert day with this, mainly for Tuesday and Tuesday night, but still some accumulating snow possible into Wednesday as well. We could be adding an additional inch on top of that. So you look at radar. We've got two different features to watch. One is farther to the south. This is going to bring some snow our way. This is actually your area of low pressure, but then it merges with the disturbance that you're seeing over Minnesota right now all of that happens just to our east and this area low pressure doesn't have a lot to kick it along so it's going to be weak it's going to sit and spin and we're going to be tracking snow from late tonight through Wednesday night before that finally gets out of here and even then we could still see flurries through your Thursday into parts of your Friday as well so let's talk about when this snow actually begins to start for us it's going to come from the south Tomorrow, most of our snow comes in from the south and east. So it starts earlier, the closer towards the state line you are. So 5 to 8 a.m., uh, if you're in this darker blue shading, that's when that snow begins to move in, which is right around the morning commute. 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock, we'll see that snow start to work its way a little bit farther to the north and west. In fact, I want to walk you through how things will likely begin to play out for us. This is today. We're moving into your afternoon, still into the 30s, and again, I cannot rule out some flurries today. Now we're in the overnight hours. It's midnight. Temperatures are right around 28 degrees. Now we're at 4 to 5 a.m. And you start to see that snow moving in from the south, becoming more widespread right as your rush hour is getting started tomorrow. This is one thing I want to make sure you know. You are not going to wake up to a bunch of snow on the ground tomorrow. But what you will wake up to is snow starting to fall and a ground that is frozen. So this will lead to some slick spots and you know everyone forgets how to drive during the first accumulating snow of the season. This is your evening commute tomorrow. We still have those flakes around and they likely stick around through Wednesday before all is said and done. So we're talking one to two to two to four inches of snow. That is between Tuesday morning and Wednesday night. So that's not much snow when you really consider the duration of it. But nonetheless, it is enough for some impact. So that's my bottom line. It's not a major deal, but both commutes on Tuesday will be impacted. And again, it's the first one of the season. Everyone tends to struggle with that just a little bit. Uh, so I'm making sure that I'm calling that out, giving everyone the heads up. An additional inch on Wednesday, flurries Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. By the way, just a little first horn for you. Some of the models trying to show snow on Thanksgiving too. Hey, how about that? Huh? You think this is uh, this is it? We're gonna get some snow here, and it's gonna stick around for the rest of the season? No, I'm certain we'll get rid of this before. Oh, you more. think so? Huh? Okay. All right, Chris Reese with your first horn. Speaking of Thanksgiving, it's going to cost you a little bit more this year. Part of that's because of a turkey shortage driving prices up. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says turkeys are 23% more expensive compared to last year. Partly because of the bird flu, which has decimated some farms, as well as inflation. As a result, shoppers are looking to secure their holiday birds a bit earlier. They said turkeys were going to be hard to find for Thanksgiving, so I thought I'd better see if I could find one early. 
Overall, the typical Thanksgiving dinner expected to cost nearly 14% more this year. You can still expect a good crowd around the Thanksgiving table, though. Check this out. One survey shows that adults under the age of 32 plan to host around 10 guests this holiday. 620 now. Facebook fans are used to seeing ads, including supplements that make incredible sounding health claims. Everything from treating diabetes to boosting brain power. But a new Consumer Reports investigation finds many of these products can not only be dangerous, they're illegal. With allusions to boosting brain power and curing insomnia, certain Facebook ads caught the attention of Consumer Reports investigative reporter Kava Waddle. We found ads and posts that promoted the use of some supplements that are dangerous or even illegal. Um, for example, we found a series of posts from a verified Facebook page that promoted the use of Comfrey, which is a dangerous supplement. CR's investigation also found a disturbing trend. Some of the supplement ads targeted specific groups of people. We found some ads that targeted people who Facebook thought were interested in diabetes awareness and Facebook was allowing marketers to put ads in front of those people that marketed things like uh, a reverse diabetes kit. And of course, medical experts um, say that supplements in general can't cure or reverse diabetes. New Life USA took down that product listing and its CEO told CR he thinks people with diabetes should continue to work with their doctors. But he also said they should wean themselves off medication. CR also found dangerous supplements being sold on Facebook Marketplace, a part of Facebook where users can buy and sell new and used items, including Kratom, which the Drug Enforcement Agency lists as a drug of concern. Facebook said the Kratom listing violated the platform's rules, and soon after CR started asking questions, most of those listings had disappeared. But even if these ads for dangerous supplements are taken down, that might not solve the larger problem. So unlike a medication, for example, where... Uh trials, clinical trials have to be presented to the FDA before something can be approved and be sold. Um, these supplements might end up on the shelves. They're not going through a filter beforehand. In general, check with your doctor before trying new supplements and be sure to search for information about them in official sources like the NIH's MedlinePlus.gov. That was Consumer Reports. Coming up next, something new on the market to celebrate National Pickle Day. And ahead in our next half hour, an update on the Darrell Brooks case, when he'll be sentenced this week. Stay with us. This portion of News 3 Now, sponsored by RG Heating and Air Conditioning. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name's Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. As falling leaves give way to snow, Midwestern winters bring rough weather and high energy bills. Feltco's here to help with our biggest sale of the season. 50% off windows, no money down, and no interest until 2024. Winter's right around the corner, and the clock is ticking. 50% off windows end soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feltco. Right now, score the lowest prices of the year at Brothers Main. You won't find lower prices anywhere. And enjoy our free delivery. Shop family-owned Brothers Main's low price guarantee on brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Feel like family. Brothers Main. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got freedom. We got power. We got the future. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. Because your new Ford vehicle is just the start of a journey. So stop by your Ford dealer today and claim one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs on their way. We've been building this country for 119 years, but we're just getting started. Get ready for the rock and roll ride of your life with the final tour of Winter Dance Party. A tribute to Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bumper. Saturday, November 19th. Presented by the Friends of the Performing Arts Center in Middleton. Tickets available online now. If you overdraw your account, Wells Fargo gives you an extra day grace period to avoid the overdraft fee. What if everything came with a grace period? Like accidentally parking where you shouldn't. Hey, what about this one? Ah, that one gets an extra day. Somebody got lucky. Like having an extra day grace period? When it comes to overdrafts, you can with Wells Fargo.
classes now hiring. Working with Cobaston, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit Cobaston.com to apply. Welcome back. We always ask you to share your morning with us. A stunning one by Kenny, a little throwback to the fall because we're certainly not seeing leaves out there anymore. No, we are not. Winter is like, hello. Hey, yeah, we love the colors. It's coming in full force. Beautiful, Kenny. Thanks so much for sharing. We appreciate it. 625, check this out. It's National Pickle Day. So the popular pickle brand Vlasic teaming up with the Home Fragrance Company to create a candle. Yeah, so uh, the candle uh, looks like a real jar of pickles and it smells like it too. 100% wax goes on sale online today to celebrate National Pickle Day. Uh, as far as pregnancy cravings goes, uh, <laughs> Leah, some, some ladies uh, get the hankering for pickles. How about you? Uh, people keep gifting me pickles because right? of that, because of that stereotype. But you know me, Chris, I am a sweet toothed gal. So I am craving candy, not necessarily something as healthy as a, yeah, as a no pickled thanks. cucumber. I will pass. Yeah. Hard pass on the pickle candle. Stick around, folks. We have some breaking news out of Milwaukee, and we will track that alert day forecast next. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Go farther with personal checking choices. At Starion Bank, you make the decisions. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. Here at Precision, we are veteran owned and we take pride in servicing not only our community but serving our country as well. No job is too big and no job is too small. Here at Precision, we'll fix them all. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. It was a wintry day, and at IHOP quite soon, hot cinnamon apples would be coaxed with a spoon on the fluffiest French toast with red currants on top. We wish you a happy holiday, only at IHOP. New Ginger Snap Apple French Toast, part of our new holiday menu. Try all three flavors. And I don't want the world to see me. attention to detail. A Bryant Evolution heating system is so well designed, it's as much of a joy to install as it is to use. Good to go. Bryant. Whatever it takes. In the Oregon area, contact Tarkenton Brothers Heating and Sheet Metal for quality comfort solutions. At Honda, we know you have to drive through the mud. If you want to reach the rainbow. Brave the desert before you find the oasis. Conquer the mountain to see how far your dreams can take you. The all-new CRV and CRV hybrid, part of the Honda line of rugged vehicles. Touching the stars. Hey, are we gonna fit? Family Insurance, we're here to carefully protect your dreams. <laughs> All right, open your eyes. <laughs> Welcome home. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. Save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance today. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. Go farther with personal checking choices at Starion Bank. Like smart checking, it's free when you choose e-statements. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com.
This morning, victims will be lined up to speak at the sentencing of Darrell Brooks. What's expected to happen in court this week? And results still coming in on the midterm elections across the country. The latest prediction on which party will be in control of each body of Congress. Plus, we're gearing you up for an alert day forecast, but not before giving you your bus stop forecast. Let's come back. Good Monday morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. And I'm Chris Stanford. We want to give you a live look at South Bend, Indiana this morning, where their first snowfall is bringing about seven inches. Well, we're going to start with a live look at St. Paul, though. You saw they are seeing snow from the same system that we will see. Back to Indiana here, really thick snowfall, all thanks to the lake effect snow out there. Again, we're next. Our own system headed this way. Accumulation expected for the first time this season. Chris Reese is tracking it all in his first worn weather. Hi, Chris. Yeah, weird to think about that parts of Oklahoma getting ready to get six inches of snow as we go throughout today. My parents in Kentucky got a couple inches of snow over the weekend. So a lot of us dealing with the cold and it is still pretty chilly as you had to head out to the bus stop this morning. Temperatures will be into the 20s early on. We're going to warm things up though into the mid 30s for your highs later on today. It is 24 in Madison right now. 24 for Middleton. Elsewhere, 27, really a popular number. So we're seeing a lot of those temperatures into the 20s, but the sun is now up. It is cloudy and it stays cloudy all day long. I cannot rule out flurries either while you're out and about. Look for those temperatures topping out right around 33, 34, 35 throughout today. This is Doppler track. It is quiet. The areas near the Mississippi River, Grant County, you might see a little bit of flurry action. That is from the system coming in out of Minnesota this morning. But the main feature that we're watching really begins to impact us moving into Tuesday, Tuesday to Tuesday night. That's an alert day. We are breaking down the timing. When does the snow start and where? Coming up. All right, Chris Reese with that first warn. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, we want to get to some breaking news in Milwaukee this morning. Police there say an officer shot and injured a man overnight during a welfare check and that the body of a 75 year old woman was found inside the home. In a news conference, police referred to this as a critical incident. It happened on North Booth just after midnight. This police uh, this morning, the police chief saying that police attempted to detain the man who answered the door, but he armed himself with a pole and a weight. The officer shot the man. Both were taken to the hospital with non fatal injuries. According to the chief so far, there are no signs of trauma to the deceased woman's body. New this morning, the U.S. Labor Department is investigating a Wisconsin company for allegedly hiring 31 children for dangerous jobs. Investigators say the company, Packer Sanitation Services, tasked kids with cleaning dangerous power equipment and during overnight shifts. The Journal Sentinel reports the Grant County Company used these workers out of state in Grand Island, Nebraska, and the towns of Worthington and Marshall, Minnesota. The Waukesha District Attorney says about 45 people will deliver victim statements at Darrell Brooks' sentencing tomorrow. A jury found Brooks guilty of six counts of intentional homicide and more than 60 other felony charges for driving an SUV into the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Because of that verdict, the judge is now required to sentence him to life in prison, but the question is whether or not the judge will give him the chance at parole. Of those planning to deliver a statement, nine are under the age of 16 or 18 rather the sentencing is scheduled to last two days democrats will retain the majority in the u.s senate with at least 50 members this after cbs news called nevada's race for incumbent senator Catherine cortez masto president biden says he hopes that number becomes 51 after georgia's senate runoff race next month a growing number of Republicans are calling for a delay in this week's planned leadership elections. Those voices, including South Carolina's Lindsey Graham on Twitter and Senator Tom Cotton, both saying the party should instead focus on that election in Georgia. I think it's better that we move forward with these elections so we can focus again on the Georgia runoff. Lawmakers return to Washington this week. CBS News projects the House leans Republican with the vote count ongoing in several key races. A man is dead this morning after a car crash outside of Janesville. It happened at the intersection of Highway 14 and County Road H. The Rock County Sheriff's Office says the man collided with another vehicle turning onto the highway. Authorities say he was not wearing a seatbelt. An 18-year-old passenger was taken to the hospital and released with minor injuries. The driver of the other vehicle involved was not hurt. 
As jubilant crowds celebrate Russia's withdrawal from the southern city of Kherson, President Zelensky this morning is saying investigators have now uncovered more than 400 Russian war crimes in that area. We were terrified by soldiers that can come any moment in our house, in our home, just open the door like they're living here and steal, uh, kidnap, torture. While the city is liberated, Russian forces are still just on the other side of the river. The government now working to restore electricity, running water, and even cell phone reception. Christmas is less than six weeks away, and many experts say if you haven't started shopping yet, you're already too late finding some of the best deals. Inflation is hitting the toy box for sure. We're really recommending that people build about 15% more into their toy shopping budgets this year. Unlike the past two years, toy companies actually say they have plenty of supply this season. Uh, so toys in high demand include the Pokemon Squishmallow and dolls like the ones from the new Black Panther movie. 636 here on your Monday. Take a look outside. That sun is starting to come up. Watch out for that solar glare. The big story of the morning, though, is the snow in the forecast. Chris is tracking just how much we could get. And a nine-year-old saving the life of her classmate. How she did it and how the school district is now honoring her. Plus, we're celebrating 100 years for Cozy Inn in Janesville. Coming up in the 608, we're going back in time. Come along with us. At the Volkswagen Sign Then Drive event, you can make maintenance cost worries so last year. To lease a new 2023 Tiguan for zero down, zero deposit, zero first month payment, and zero due at signing. Limited inventory available. Volunteering offers more than benefits for those served. Volunteers reap health benefits from the time they give. RSVP of Dane County's Driver Services Program needs volunteers to provide rides to medical appointments and deliver meals to older adults in Dane County. Ideal candidates are of legal driving age, love to drive, and meet new people. Schedules are very flexible, and volunteer drivers will use their own vehicles and are reimbursed for mileage. To make a difference, please contact RSVP of Dane County today. McGann Furniture and Flooring has a question for you. Do you have a hard time sleeping comfortably through the night? Is your mattress 10 years old or even older? Chances are you're due for a new one. Mattress technology has changed a lot in the last 10 years. Our experienced staff will help you find the right style, construction, and firmness that will give you years of sleeping comfort. And remember, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. With delivery and disposal of your old set, we make it easy to have the bed of your dreams at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. Keep bragging about your buck after the hunt with wild game processing from Johnson Sausage Shop in Ryle, Wisconsin. Friends enjoy a hunting story more over a jalapeno cheddar stick. Johnson Sausage Shop accepts wild game seven days a week. First bucks in are the first brats out. Hi, I'm Tim O'Brien, owner of The Healthy Place. I'm excited to tell you about our new Wild Theory CBD products that will get you high fives from everyone you know. Wild Theory's new groundbreaking formula has higher levels of the good stuff and it packs surprising results. Is it legal in Wisconsin? Of course! Is it potent? You bet. Will you love it? I'm sure of it. Stop by one of our Madison locations or visit findyourhealthyplace.com, type in high five, and our website will hook you up. The garage door is America's new front door, so why not look at it in a whole new way? Let Precision's experienced designers come to you. Let us show you the difference a new Precision garage door can make. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. At the Volkswagen Sign Then Drive event, you can make maintenance cost worries so last year. Hurry in to lease a new 2023 Tiguan for zero down, zero deposit, zero first month payment, and zero due at signing. Limited inventory available. A small community's big tribute to its veterans. I think to me the wall says, is a Vietnam vet, welcome home. Leah Linscheid shows you how students in her hometown of Highland helped bring a school project idea to life for their village. Tonight at 10. UW Athletics and the Goodman Community Center need your help in providing Thanksgiving meals for 4,000 families. Please consider a food or monetary gift so no one goes without a holiday dinner. We're grateful for any gift you can provide. Donate today at goodmancenter.org. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back, everybody. The oldest Chinese restaurant in Wisconsin located right here in the 608. Today, they're celebrating a century of service. 
Josh Breider is hanging out with the folks in Janesville this morning to share their story. Hey there, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, we're in the exact spot that opened up 100 years ago this month, right here on Milwaukee Street in Janesville. Again, back in 1922 is when Cozy Inn first started. And here we're going to cozy on in with Tom and Amanda here this morning. And I mean, this is really, really special. 100 years. And I mean, there's so much history here. You guys took it over what year? In 1975. 1975. And here you still are as good as ever, right? Yes. It's just been a long journey. You know, you've seen a lot during that journey. Yes, I have. I've seen recessions and I've seen uh, re remodeling of this downtown area. So Fort James did a great job of redoing downtown James. So. so Cozy Inn, let's talk about that name for a little bit. Where does the name come from? I think it came from these booths because they're so cozy. It's very comfortable for these, these booths. These, our customers love these booths. They request these booths all the time. It's very, uh, like, down and personal for these areas. Ooh, very right. separated throughout here. Separate, but yet intimate a little bit. Yes. You know, talk a little bit about how the support of Janesville has really kept you guys going. Um, ever since we've been here, we've been getting great support. I mean, we've known these community the people in the, this community for a long, long time, and they're just like family to us. So, so we recognize them. We they're just special to us. And there are not many, you know, local businesses, restaurants, especially that can make it a century. Correct. It's it's it, we're very happy, that, you know, that we we existed this long. So. You know, there's a lot of history, obviously, within this place. You know, a lot of families have yeah. been here. I mean, making this their tradition. Yes, we have customers that come here traditionally. Christmas Eve all the time, they, that's their tradition of coming here Christmas Eve or the day before Thanksgiving, so forth. That's got to be pretty special, and it's got to keep you two going every single day you walk in here. Oh, yes. It, it, my wife, she just loves her job, so, you know, it's not a job to her. It's just, that's her life. She just loves it. So what's pretty cool, too, is that, you know, we talked about this. A hundred years, you're the oldest Chinese restaurant in Wisconsin. Correct. Second oldest in the United States, only Correct. by, what, 11 years? 11 years. So, I mean, that's pretty incredible. It is. It, it, it's amazing. I, I didn't believe it myself, but I didn't know I could make it this long myself. So it's close, almost 50 years. That's amazing. Well, congratulations Thank to you, you two. Thank Let's you. throw the information up on the screen right now because today sure. is a big day. You want everyone to come out and right. really enjoy and celebrate 100 years for Cozy Inn. Right. We just want to show our appreciation to the community and the surrounding community that's been supporting us all these years. And it's a little meet and greet and we have some appetizers and, and things like that. Some of your house favorites, right? Yeah. Our favorite are our egg rolls. They just love our egg rolls. I we love a good egg roll. We get customers that, you know, from out of state, they order sometimes 50 to 75, and they take it back to their, their other home states that they move to. Wow. Well, that's super special. Again, right. congratulations to you guys. Here's to 100, year, 100 more years. I don't know about 100 years, but <laughs> some more years, though. Some more years. Well, thank you guys so much for having us in here. We appreciate it. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about the story here of Cozy Inn, you can go to the story on channel3000.com, guys. So I'm getting uh, messages on Instagram from some folks who love the Cozy Inn, and they're saying, you have to bring back, Josh, some egg rolls and then the paper chicken. Do you think you can do that for us? Oh, that sounds pretty good, too. I probably can make that happen. Yeah, let's see it, buddy. Josh Breider making us hungry at 6.45 in the morning. We appreciate it. Don't forget to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. All right, it is 644. A Racine fourth grader is receiving life-saving recognition after she rushed into a classroom to save a classmate who was choking. Nine-year-old Essence, known as Essie, saw that classmate starting to choke before anyone else realized what happened. She got her classmate's airway cleared, and within seconds, the girl was breathing fine. I just saw that she was holding her neck, and I rushed out there as fast as I can. How did you know what to do? Because I saw this YouTube video. The Racine Unified School Board plans to honor Essie for her heroism at a board meeting later this month. Hats off to Essie saving the lives of her classmates. It's Way a big to go. deal. Way to go. For young athletes, success can be found by focusing on their long-term health. That's why UW Lacrosse hosted its third annual Youth Symposium for coaches, athletes, and parents over the weekend. 
It offered sports exercises, evaluation, demonstrations, and nutrition for athletes. For a lot of athletes, it's making sure you're getting enough, uh, especially when you're busy. Sports are become a year-round thing. Uh, it can be not uncommon for athletes to undereat just a little bit at a time, but that adds up over the course of time and can ultimately impact injury risk, but also recovery from injury. This year's theme is all about keeping balance as an athlete. Quarter to seven, Chris Reese here now with your first one weather. We continue to have him track that alert day in your forecast. Hi, Chris. Yeah, we're really breaking down tomorrow. That's his accumulating snow. The first one of the season likely begins to move into the picture. One to three inches of snow may fall tomorrow. I cannot rule out adding an additional inch to that moving into your Wednesday. So let's talk about when the snow starts and where. And so the farther south and east you are, the earlier that snow is going to start. So farther into these darker blue colors, that's where you're looking at snow starting anywhere between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. tomorrow. Now a little bit farther towards the north and west, that's where we look at the snow starting anywhere between 8 a.m. and 11 o'clock. But the reality is this, by 9, 10 o'clock, I expect widespread snow for all of us here across southern Wisconsin. We're seeing some of that snow develop to our north and west now, and that hangs back to our north and west for most of today. It's waiting on its little friend to join the party. This is the snow that you're seeing to our south, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma. Those areas will see more snow than we will out of this entire event as they go just through today. But by tomorrow, all of that begins to overspread southern Wisconsin, and that will lead to commute impacts. But this morning, I expect your commute to be just fine. Here's a live look outside right now. Red skies at morning, folks. Here we go. 24. That's where the temperature stands. The wind chill down at 18 right now. It's 25 in Janesville, 27 in Mineral Point, 20 in the Dells. Most of us here, though, in the Madison Metro do have temperatures into the 20s, so the ground is very well frozen. Even as temperatures warm up to 34 today, it's not really enough to thaw out that frozen ground. So now we're in the overnight hours. It's 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The commute is just getting started. Light snow starting to break out for all of us here across the Madison Metro. Now between 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock, watch some of those darker blues start to move in. This is some of that heavier snow-ish, still all lighter snow, but still some heavier, steadier snow starting to move in really throughout your morning tomorrow. That'll stick around throughout much of the afternoon, off and on. By 5 o'clock, some light snow gets in here, but we will keep the snow showers around all the way into Wednesday. Because again, by Wednesday, we could add an additional inch or so on top. So one to two inches just from today or Tuesday. Then by Wednesday, our totals end up being right around two to four inches of snow. This is not the biggest snowstorm we've ever seen by any means. But again, as you always know, that first accumulation of the season tends to create some big issues. So we have the alert day in your forecast on Tuesday. We stay cold. And we get even colder. Chances for flurries all the way into Saturday. Saturday night, we could go down into the single digits. Okay. We've been warned. Chris Reese, you're giving us that first warn nice and early. Yes, I am. We appreciate it. Thank you. 648 coming up in the morning sprint. Breaking news of a school shooting on the East Coast. The latest coming up. And we want to wish a uh, happy birthday to Ada and Javon, who are turning three today, thanks for uh, celebrating with us. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Warrens, Wisconsin. Black Friday deals all month long during our huge Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible prices, plus get 30% off on top of that store-wide. And don't forget, mattress shopping is easy, fast, and comfortable at Slumberland Furniture. Kevin! 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 Oh, nice. Kevin, where are you? Kevin! Hey, what's going on? I'm right here. I was busy cash backing for the holidays with Chase Freedom Unlimited. I'm going to cash back on the gingerbread house. Oh, it's got little people inside. And a snow globe. Oh, I wish I lived in there. You know, I can't believe you lost another Kevin. It's a holiday tradition. That it is. Earn big time with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. How to holiday the Bob's way. What's got your beard in a twist, Mr. Gnome? 
I get it. Hosting holiday meals can be stressful, but not with Bob's Discount Furniture. I've got complete dining sets as low as $5.99 with the features that make holiday hosting easy, like extendable tables, hidden storage, and multiple heights in a wide variety of styles and colors. And the bow on top, financing options to fit your budget. No matter how many you're hosting, Bob's makes it easy as pie. <gasps> pie! Holiday the Bob's way. Here's to the holidays. Here's to the casserole queens and Santa's who saute. To the turkeys brined in beer and, well, just beer. To the ones who do the most and the ones who do the least. To the classic traditions. And whatever you call this one. This year, no matter how you holiday, Festival has you covered. Festival Foods, a Wisconsin tradition since 1946. We look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspections, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with 7-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. To learn more about Toyota certified used vehicles, see your local Toyota dealer today. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. Look at the mattresses. <laughs> Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. Right now, get 30% off select mattresses, like this Sealy Posturepedic mattress for $5.99. Slumberland, mattress shopping reinvented. Badger Blueprint, Wednesdays on News 3 Now at 10. 6.52 time for the morning sprint. Breaking news out of Virginia this morning where three people are dead, two wounded in a shooting on campus of the University of Virginia. Police are still looking for the suspect this morning on the ground and by air with a state helicopter. The campus still on lockdown. Officers alerted students to shelter in place late last night. That suspect, Christopher Darnell Jones, is believed to be armed and dangerous. Jerry Ward is expected to be in court today for a motion hearing. The 19-year-old is charged with first-degree intentional homicide as a party to a crime and attempted homicide in the killing of 11-year-old Anissa Scott. In February, a judge denied Ward's request for lower bail. His trial is set to begin January of next year. Badger football coming up short once again in Iowa this weekend. The only points the Badgers were able to produce in the first quarter were from a field goal. Iowa getting two touchdowns in the second. Wisconsin just couldn't fight back. The final score, 10 to 24. They'll try to bounce back in Nebraska next weekend. The chances, though, for that Big Ten West title now out of their reach. Your utility bill might about to be to go up. Uh, 150,000 customers in South Central Wisconsin will be affected. MG&E is going to increase rates by about 9% in January. It means customers will pay about $8.20 more a month. MG&E is also buying part of a natural gas plant in Beloit which will also increase the price of renewables initially. One person is dead, another injured after a crash in the town of Oregon on Saturday. The Dane County Sheriff's Office reports alcohol could have been a factor in the crash. It happened when two cars collided at an intersection on Rome Corners Road and County Highway Double M. The victim's names aren't being released right now. The crash is still under investigation. Nearly 10 years after the Sandy Hook shooting, a long-awaited memorial has officially been opened up. It contains the names of 20 first graders and six educators killed engraved on the memorial wall. Thousands of folks are waking up this morning. Marathon runners, they took part in the city's annual Madison Marathon, 26.2 grueling miles on Sunday. Runners had six hours to complete the course, which started and finished at the Capitol Square. If traffic snarled your Sunday drive, things should be a little smoother downtown this Monday. This week is Transgender Awareness Week. 1.6 million Americans identify as transgender now with the goal of uh, raising, communities, uh, the, raising the community's visibility in a positive way. This year, at least 15 states have either restricted access to gender-affirming care 
or taken up legislation that would do so. Some of the bills even go as far as penalizing health care providers and family members. Students across Wisconsin will once again have the opportunity to help decorate the state capitol holiday tree this year. Governor Evers' office announced the tree will once again be in the rotunda. This year's theme will be Wisconsin waters. Every year the tree is decorated with handmade ornaments from kids and families across the state. Your family has until November 22nd to make yours and send them in. America's $32 billion fitness industry is finally bouncing back from the pandemic. Monthly visits to gyms from March through August rose more than 18% over 2019, according to retail industry data. New memberships have also increased with sales per square foot at gyms up 34% in August compared to 2021. Planet Fitness, which has more than 2,300 stores, added an impressive 300,000 members in the second quarter of this year. The first annual Great Midwest Crane Fest is in the books this morning. Two of Wisconsin's leading conservation organizations, the International Crane Foundation, the Aldo Leopold Foundation, put it on over the weekend in Baraboo. It's an effort to protect one of the most endangered families of birds in the world, with 10 of those 15 species threatened. And Black Panther Wakanda Forever ringing in at the top of the box office this morning. It had a phenomenal weekend. It debuted with $180 million. That makes it the best November opening ever. Still, it's down from the original Black Panther debut four years ago. They had a $202 million opening weekend. Meanwhile, Black Adam fell to second, making $8.6 million. We're looking at a lot of cloud cover today. I cannot rule out a chance for some flurries, but we will stay on the colder side. 30s is as warm as we're going to get, mid-30s at that. Overnight tonight, snowflakes begin to return to the picture. Your overnight lows fall down into the upper 20s, and then we will see more snow on tap as we begin to move towards tomorrow. This is the alert day. This is where accumulating snow begins to get into the mix, and then perhaps an additional inch on top of that Wednesday. Flurry stick around through Saturday. Okay, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Folks, we're going to keep an eye on that alert day, bring you real-time updates throughout the day. Keep it right here on News 3 Now.